Edith Head's name is the obvious finale to our story. She was the symbol of an era. Her work has been featured in 400 films. She has 35 Oscar nominations and 8 wins. She is the only costume designer to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and her eccentric image has been immortalized by Pixar. I used to design for gods. But in the 1920s, young Edith didn't even think about the film industry. She graduated from the Department of Theology at the University of California and received a master's degree from Stanford, after which she got a job teaching French. To improve her modest financial situation, she began teaching art to children, despite the fact that she only had briefly studied it in high school. Nevertheless, parents had entrusted her with the task, so in the evening she attended drawing classes to at least partially improve her skills. That's when chance intervened with Edith's measured life. Her students, the daughters of director Cecil DeMille, invited Head to the set of her father's new film. Edith was immediately captivated by what went on behind the scenes of filmmaking, and so she decided to get a job as a costume designer at the studio. However, the young woman wasn't exactly artistically gifted, so she brought some of her classmates' sketches to the interview. By the time this deception was discovered, Head was already an assistant to the studio's most influential costume designers, Howard Greer and the previously mentioned Travis Banton, who were fascinated by her hard work and talent. Edith's first solo project was the main character's dress in the film, She'd Done Him Wrong. Unfortunately, this character was to be played by Mae West, one of the most controversial actresses of her time. She seemed to do everything in her power to confuse the aspiring artist, demanding a loose yet tight-fitting dress that would emphasize her femininity. By some miracle, Head was able to fulfill the ambiguous request, and Mae's outfit with a long, mermaid-like train looked stunning on her. You wanna help me pick up my train? The film went on to break box office records and saved Paramount from bankruptcy. Edith was soon leading the studio's design department and did so for the next 44 years. To list all of her merits would require a six-hour documentary, because during her most prolific period, she was involved in 30 films a year. Alfred Hitchcock was one of Edith's biggest fans. The director was introduced to the artist by Ingrid Bergman, who wanted Edith to create outfits for her character in the film Notorious. The director honored the star's request and fell in love with Head's talent. Bergman wore nothing but white, black, or black and white outfits with no patterns, which didn't distract from the actress's charming appearance even for a second. Hitchcock was a cantankerous perfectionist, but he admired the artist's minimalist ideas. Edith would go on to create the wardrobes for 11 films by the master of suspense. Head would later characterize their 30-year working relationship as an education in restraint. The artist apparently also received a lesson or two in humility. Her costume design for Roman Holiday brought Edith an Oscar. The win was also celebrated by Audrey Hepburn, who arrived at the ceremony in a dress from the film's finale. She called the outfit her lucky charm, and it seemed to be the beginning of a fruitful collaboration between the artist and actress. But before filming the romantic comedy Sabrina, Hepburn met French fashion magnate Hubert de Givenchy. The designer made Audrey his muse, and from that moment on he became her exclusive wardrobe manager. Hepburn immediately began criticizing head sketches and innovations, so none of the artist's ideas made it to the shooting phase. However, Givenchy's name was not credited in the film, and it was Edith who received the Oscar for the costumes featured in Sabrina. To top it off, Head didn't even mention Givenchy in her acceptance speech. In a later interview, she expressed her indignation, a feeling she shared with hundreds of her colleagues. Couture has copied many things for years, in addition to countless other costume designers claiming theirs were the original ideas. It's all part of the business, unfortunately. like our work? Let us know with your like and comment, push that subscribe button, and share with your friends. If you want to support the project financially, become our sponsor on Patreon or YouTube sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you.